Hello everyone, welcome back to City Skylines. Um, in this video I'm going to be going over a city I built uh, over the uh, last month. It's uh, called New Santurce. So kind of in this video I'm just going to go over my uh, thought process in terms of uh, transportation and uh, city layout. So hopefully this can be of, uh, can kind of give you uh, City Skylines players out there some uh, help with uh, designing your cities. So, start out, um, so you can kind of notice uh, the city is kind of uh, laid out in a uh, basin, which is like a kind of valley with these uh, horizontal mountains. So kind of laying out, of course, uh, you got to consider um, access points. So in terms of this city, I thought it was best to uh, put in a um, ring road so from this already existing highway here I just uh, kind of extended it a bit just kind of made sure it goes around the uh, city through here also make sure you, uh, there's access points as well into the uh, street network and then of course from this trumpet interchange I've also uh, extended it over here to my main uh, industrial park I also made sure to uh, just kind of split up the traffic so there's like one inter uh, interchange here and also uh, terminating here the highway terminates at these uh, roundabouts as you can see right here and here so this is just a way uh, for uh, makes it easier for uh, just uh, traffic to get around through the highways and I also uh, made sure that I uh, put in my industrial areas next to the highways right here over here lastly uh, another industrial district over here just so it has uh, just because uh, industrial uh, uses tend to generate a lot of traffic so I also put them by the uh, highways as much as I can and also access to uh, cargo rail where I can as well. So, kind of moving on. Um, from the highway system, I've also built from the highway system. I've also built the, this uh, series of uh, kind of arterial uh, boulevards that kind of uh, go into the city. It's kind of meant to handle most of the traffic. Just that they kind of uh, intersect to go through here, through this, uh, through the downtown. Also, a uh, major connection here between two of them. And then kind of heads this way. Or it also uh, kind of terminates over here at another, uh, another uh, interchange for the highway. Just uh, gives it some easy access. To getting into the city from uh, multiple uh, directions as you can see over here uh, with this uh, arterial I got it coming over here to connect over with this uh, highway interchange and it kind of comes this way and then this way and then connects over, up over here so it's just a way, uh, it's kind of useful for the traffic when you've got a uh, ring road for uh, multiple ways into the city. And also demonstrate uh, one more thing. Um, as you can see right here, I've got uh, this arterial. The uh, length in between the uh, intersections here are is about uh, two blocks worth. So it's just one way where... Um, makes it just uh, easier to hold more traffic as you can see so and of course right off of the uh, right off of this these uh, boulevards you've got all these uh, blocks of uh, housing so makes it easier for uh, traffic just to get around next uh, we'll go th uh, through the public transportation system I kind of have an extensive system as you can see right here actually I uh, have an extensive network of uh, trolley buses as you can see this is also uh, what's very useful about having a uh, grid system it makes it easier for uh, 
public transportation, like whether we've got buses. As you can see here, we can put the uh, stops close to each other for transfers. And uh, if, as you can see with the grid, you can, if you can space them out, you can actually create a uh, system that uh, can cover like most of the city, and make it easier for uh, people to transfer in between points. So that's one uh, just a nifty trick if you're uh, planning out your public transportation system is to also keep the uh, road network in mind in terms of how that goes because that can also uh, determine a lot of the uh, public transportation that you put in. So this is also uh, it's kind of pretty cool. So you can see I've also got uh, two networks of uh, metro lines here. I've got one uh, kind of coming over here where I've got uh, more trolley buses that could kind of connect up. Kind of comes over this way runs on the surface. only have one uh, level crossing here because I've got a uh, waste transfer facility. I think I can kind of get away with that right here. Usually when you're uh, using metros it's a good idea not to uh, have them cross uh, level road or have uh, any level crossings for the most part. So kind of coming over here, you've got a uh, another stop, obviously, another station where a lo number of buses come in, and I've also uh, got what's called a transit-oriented development, where I've got um, apartment buildings and just a greater density right near the station, so it's kind of handy, as well as uh, shops and offices right nearby. So you've got like a number of uh, jobs and also. Uh, people can access the jobs and also to get on transit. So that's one uh, one uh, recommendation I have if you're trying to uh, just uh, make people use the public transit system more. So especially when you're laying out uh, metros, make sure to kind of uh, increase the density. And then uh, Metro Line B goes underneath the uh, roadway, go underneath underground got a uh, stop right here on this road, this arterial, where it can intersect with a uh, another uh, trolley bus line. Got another one here at this major intersection. Also happen to have a tra shopping center there. And continues underground all the way over here where uh, it's an e makes an easier uh, easy uh, transfer point with the other uh, metro line as well as another trolley bus line right there so just uh, when you're uh, laying out metros if you're uh, adding in more than one line it's kind of important you have an easier easy uh, transfer point in between the uh, two uh, metro line two or more metro lines where you can so that'll make uh, that'll help to drive up ridership and coming over here, the line kind of goes under uh, the highway, as well as the other line. Kind of have another stop right here. Just to kind of serve this uh, sort of uh, nifty uh, Oasis Towers. And then uh, line B. Kind of uh, comes over above ground, comes onto a, a bridge over the rails here. And then it kind of terminates over here where I've got uh, cable cars up to a suburb and also uh, connects to a major, uh, ma the major industrial area for the city with lots of jobs. So it's kind of uh, one line. You've also got a uh, second line over here. Um, got connections with the uh, streetcar or tram. And uh, kind of uh, starting over here, we've got a small industrial college with this stop. I've also uh, kind of runs on the surface here, um, running this way. I kind of decided to put it on the surface because uh, I don't have enough room for another uh, interchange stop. So kind of comes with the highway. So as you can see, comes this way. And we got another station right here. So kind of uh, easy uh, transfer points with the uh, 
streetcar right there. And then as you can see it goes underground. The Metro Line A runs underneath the highway system. Connects right here with the uh, other line as well as the uh, previously mentioned trolleybus line. Continues this way underground and then uh, has a stop right here in the middle of the uh, downtown or the CBD. And right here as you can see we have a uh, inner city bus uh, hub so all the inner city coaches also come in here. Then going this way also intersects with two bus lines here. And line A kind of comes this way connects over here with a uh, another with a bus line right here also uh, helps to serve uh, much of the uh, high density over here as well so it's kind of nifty then uh, metro line a continues to run along here underground past the highway again comes up here to the surface where uh, it has this uh, train metro hub this is where you've got the uh, commuter train that comes in as well as the uh, inner city trains as well so as you can see you've got some like hotels here at the stop you've got offices on the side have a number of shops some apartment buildings and then also we've got a, a zoo over here that it's connected up to so as well as the other end of the uh, uh, streetcar line Then from here on it becomes elevated, running this way past the clover leaf that you've seen earlier. And it runs this way right by the highway and then it kind of connects up here with uh, the theme park area right here. And I've also got a, a bus right here that uh, feeds into the uh, feeds into the metro line suburban bus. And coming over this way, continues on, and it uh, terminates over here at the university, where I've also, as you can see, I've got the uh, football stadium, so it's pretty nifty when it comes to game days. So yeah, so uh, if you're uh, designing your uh, metro system. Yeah, when I say metro, I think it's just listed as uh, subway, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, it's also, yeah, metro stations. But if you're putting in metro, um, just something to keep in mind, at least, if you're uh, considering um, in terms of how uh, they usually uh, lay out metros. I don't know if it's, uh, I haven't looked into it in terms of the game, but in real life, uh, the most expensive uh thing for metros is actually tunneling so it's something to keep in mind realistically uh, if you can do as little tunneling as possible and maybe like uh, put tunneling where it's like really needed for areas like in a uh, downtown it would kind of make more sense at least in a financial uh, sense in terms of just trying to uh, make it seem kind of more realistic so that's kind of why I have the uh, the entire metro is not underground because I think realistically you'd kind of uh, if I were if I were some if I were a designer if there are ways I can put it at, like above ground I'd do that so uh, it's just uh, cheaper in terms of construction so that's kind of my uh, two cents for uh, designing metros so we'll kind of take a look at the uh, transit statistics as you can see uh, with the uh, you can see the uh, why uh, grid assistance, uh, especially with this uh, city, is extremely useful. You, as you can see, you've got the uh, trolley buses. There's almost there's almost as much uh, rider. The trolley buses are actually outmatching the uh, metro systems in terms of the uh, number of people that they trans uh, are able to move. And that's kind of uh, important for uh, public transportation, especially as if you have a system that's able to get everyone everywhere. So, small thing I forgot to mention earlier is uh, usually because uh, I'm playing on console, of course, and um, trolley buses don't come with uh, 
unfortunately don't come with uh, bus lanes. That's why I'm using a uh, regular bus on the on this uh, arterial here, as well as uh, over here. So just to kind of make uh, transportation smoother. So yeah. So in terms of the uh, inner ring neighborhoods, there's about uh, ten bus lines in total. Eight of those being uh, trolley buses. So it's actually quite a lot, as you can see. So I'm kind of proud about that. It's one way to help uh, drive up ridership. And of course, you could scale it up with, uh, instead of just buses, if you've got uh, denser areas and a grid, you can also uh, put in um, trams, or as I like to call them, streetcars. So it's just a uh, useful hint if you've got that in terms of designing and layout. So, kind of the last few things I'd like to cover, we've got uh, for our uh, regular heavy rail, we've got a small commuter train, kind of comes out this way, as you can see, past this uh, cargo rail depot, kind of runs over here, and then you've got this uh, sort of outlying suburb. So that carries a uh, decent amount of people. Also have a bus station out here to handle the uh, various buses. Cause I've also got a uh, express bus as well. Kind of heads up the uh, highway here. The uh, cutbacks, switchbacks, I think that's what they're called, if I'm not mistaken. You've also got this uh, sort of uh, modernistic uh, neighborhood right here and you've got also the uh, cable cars here and these uh, go all the way down so they end up uh, feeding into the uh, street cars right here I've kind of also did a uh, similar thing as well with the other set of uh, cable cars over here that you can see so they immediately uh, just kind of feed into the uh, metro system right there and uh, they kind of go up the hill connect up over here to another uh, major uh, residential area up on the uh, mountain so it also has like a number of uh, shops as well right here everything a person could want and also easy access to the uh, main city as well as you can tell so yeah, and of course uh, the rest of this rail uh, starting here is just cargo rail. Kind of have it uh, go underneath this major road right here. Continues on, it goes under this major road and only has uh, level crossings with uh, neighborhood streets. So it's a way of uh, trying to avoid uh, cutting off too much of the traffic flow. So yeah, so this is uh, one way to help uh, cut down on uh, traffic. Kind of runs underneath the uh, highway there. Here, I'll kind of move slowly so you can get a view of the city. So yeah, and then over here the uh, kind of runs elevated. Comes over this way where it kind of uh, connects up with a uh, mining operation. So... That's kind of it. And they've got a uh, diamond interchange here. Yeah, so this is my uh, city, New Santurce. So feel free to leave any uh, comments or questions you might have, or if, uh, if there's anything in the city you might want me to go over further. So, till next time.